Happy Monday, LinkedIn legends. It's Johnny Osmosis down in the Oz Cave. Tough loss last night. And if you're an MMA fight, it was tough to see Conor McGregor go down um, to Dustin Poirier. But just wanted to throw together a couple minute video and I will steadfastly stick to that couple minutes down here in the Oz Cave. But um, just wanted to wish you all well in the start of your week, the start of the day. Uh, I mean, we're at 930 plus here, but um, hopefully your day's off to a good one. Not hope, but with faith, your day's going great. And um, you know, wanted to just throw out that that energy, that osmosis. Um, and I know a lot of us uh, might be feeling down about what uh, transpired yesterday um, in the AFC Championship game. Um, but uh, certainly a heck of a run, and a lot of great energy derived off of that run by our Buffalo Bills. Um, you know, our community, the energy, the bringing togetherness of togetherness. Um, so yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to get this, uh, get this little video out there, leveraging my, of course, my shout out to VidWheel Creator Network and VidWheel, Neil Carroll, Morgan Ocharzak. But, um, you know, again, whatever it is you're doing this week, be faithful to it, be mindful of it, be intentional with how you get it done. Be, you know, be specific you know, if there's uh, if there's a fitness goal you're trying to accomplish this week, or a fitness plan you want to execute on, if there's business goals you've got, if there's if there's just life goals, be intentional, be mindful, put it out to the universe, write it down, make it powerful, put yourself in that accountable mindset to um, what you say you're going to do, execute on it. So, um, first time doing this spur of the moment thing impromptu, just off a great call with my friends over at Trek a co-working incubator in Niagara Falls, New York. Um, you know, Pat Whalen and team there, Roscoe, Naget, and uh, and the rest there, the supporters of that. It was great to see about 10, 15 different faces this morning and kick that day off. Right, start with gratitude, start with energy, start with community. Those are things that I love, and I know there's a lot of folks out there that love it. And I'll tell you, right now, all the more we really need those things, that togetherness, that community, that support, that empathy, which if you haven't already, go check out that article I put out on LinkedIn a couple of days ago about empathy and how it is a function of imagination and why it's so important right now, now more than ever going into 2021, which for a lot of people is a reset year. 2020 was supposed to be a reset year, but uh, unfortunately, you know, starting in March of 2020, we saw things rapidly change. Deteriorate um, is probably a good word to use in a lot of different verticals, a lot of realms. And 2021, for a lot of folks, um, you know, it was going to be a reset year, but we're still seeing strife. We're still seeing issues. We're still seeing struggle. Um, I myself, uh, I've been struggling with certain things, a, an injury uh, at the end of December after running that marathon. I've been nursing that. I've been rehabbing that. Um, and it's it's taken a toll on my psyche, on my, you know, the way I... <laughs> The way I identify with fitness and wellness and how I've had to really be smart and, and it took a couple of weeks really to realize that this is a bit um, this is a bit more serious than I thought. And so obviously there's a, not obviously, but there are a, a lot of folks who, who like to say, John, you're always so motivated. You're so energized. Do you ever have off days? Uh, one thing I, I try to do, I sprinkle in uh, every now and again is that vulnerability, that candor, um, that, uh, you know, openness to feeling pain, going through adversity, struggling, tough times, negativity, down, uh, being down, I should say, downs, ups and downs. Um, so, you know, working through that, but it's it's taught me some things that, again, I've reflected on some of the other posts I've put here on LinkedIn. It's taught me how to kind of put a, uh, maybe not a pause, but um, understand that we can reset in our fitness. We can, um, I'm trying to say, again, this is impromptu. I didn't script anything, not that I usually script, but you know, what it, I guess what it's done is it's, it's, it's really, I say, give yourself a break in a lot of the, the, the conversations I have, podcasts, whatever content it is, give yourself a break. And I do, but it really put things in perspective with you've got a body, uh, lower body issue, you're, you're nursing an Achilles calf strain, whatever it may be. This is pretty serious. Let's take it easy. It's okay that your fitness numbers are not, um, are not what they normally are. You know, you're, tens and tens of thousands of calories burn on your Apple watch and your whoop and strain and all the stuff. It's, it's okay to go off of feel. And in this case, the feel of, of what I've felt in my lower body has not been great. So anyway, the point is we're all struggling. Um, you're, we're in this together 
And um, it's good to reach out to friends. I, you know, just this morning, I'm sending texts out to some of my great friends. Shouts out, shout outs to, you know, Greg Shoemaker, Chuck Collard, um, you know, John Gavigan, Evan Giocas. The list goes on. Friends and supporters of mine that I you know, may not have talked to recently and thinking of them and what they're doing in their business life, their personal life and my care for them. So you send that text, you make that call. Um, but the, at the bottom, the bottom, the end of the day, sorry, um, the end of the day, it's okay. You'll be okay. Um, the sun will rise tomorrow. And when it does rise, put your best foot forward. Put your best foot forward. And as I always say, keep going. So quick little kickoff, totally impromptu. You'll notice that I'm five and a half minutes in under the 10 minute limit of LinkedIn's video upload number, uh, time limit, I should say. So as always, Johnny Osmosis down here in the Oz Cave. You got this, we got this, and keep going, but more so, if you're interested in connecting, you know, this is again, totally impromptu, non-scripted. If you're interested in connecting with me, I have been doing coaching sessions. Uh, I unofficially released this a couple months ago. I have had uh, clients who are official clients, we'll call that, and that they're, you know, there's a, it's a paid service, candidly. Um, but as I said on that first call, uh, or that first video post, 30 days, three calls, give or take three and a half hours of time spent together virtually like this or on a phone call or whatever, or even in person, safely, socially distanced, if it's a lunch, a coffee, where I will meet with you and I want to hear about you. I want to learn about your narrative, your story, your path, your reasons, your why, your struggles, your burdens, your traumas. And I want to hear about that. And I want to hear about what it is that you perceive that you need to transform with, transform in because that's something I did end of 2019, as I've said now a few times, end of 2019 was a rock bottom for me. And I took 2020 and I hit that reset button and I went all in. And here it is carrying into late 20, you know, late January, 2021, and it will never stop. It's a burning fire that will literally never be put out. So if you want, if you want to learn more, I'm having, you know, I do a lot of that, that, that entry, that intro discussion. I have historically been at uh, not been great at monetizing things because I just care too much. I give, I give and give and give as much as I can. I want to help. I want to support. I want to inject energy and and, and love and, and happiness and connectivity, connection, whatever. Um, and so, if you're interested in, in talking, I've got Calendly links, a Calendly link in my contact info on LinkedIn and other places. I got a link tree that has all my stuff. Love to learn uh, more about you and help you not just help you, but get you to get magnetized, get you to go all in um, and build that foundation of what your life purpose is so that you can use that as a guiding tool, a, a guide that's going to get you through the tough times, the good times, the bad times, the in-betweens, so that you always keep going. So Johnny has most his eight minutes down in the Oz Cave. Thanks for watching. Totally impromptu. I know it's been a, it's been a, it was a tough weekend, but again, it's a new day. Sun has risen. You got this. Put that foot forward. Make that call. Send that email. Whatever it might be. Write that. Write that. Uh, you know, blog article. Whatever it is. You got this. Just start. You got to work out. Put your workout gear on. So anyway, I can rant all day. A lot of energy. A lot of gratitude. You got this, Johnny Osmosis down the Oz Cave. Out.